Hi everyone, it's Scott here from That's English School. 英語研究プロジェクト。よくある間違いを分析します。昨日の夜、うちのお父さんが倒れちゃって、救急車を呼んで入院しました。残念ながら、こういう話はたまに英会話ですんでね、聞きます。このような重い話を聞いてるとね、なかなか間違ってる英語を直しづらいですね。でも今回は誰も倒れてないので、遠慮なく直します。Let's go! First, let's look at the problem. He fell down. He fell down. I want to talk about the use of the phrasal verb fall down. If you say your father fell down, my first reaction is it's a terrible thing. I'm very worried. It's never a good thing to fall down. But the problem in this case is the seriousness of the situation. If your father was taken to the hospital in an ambulance, fall down is probably not the best choice of vocabulary. Let's investigate the reasons why. Okay, first and foremost, we have to look at it from the Japanese language point of view. You're using the verb taoreru. This Japanese verb has a very broad meaning. It's used in a huge variety of situations. Fall down isn't used quite so widely. In English, there are so many different verbs or phrasal verbs that you choose depending on what you're talking about. So if you say, My father fell down last night and was taken away in an ambulance and hospitalized, sure, it's fine, but a native speaker probably wouldn't say, Fell down. This baby has just started walking, so he keeps falling down. He isn't hurt. So he's gonna try again. <laughs> These dominoes are falling down, but we can stand them up again. This girl kind of fell down, but the guy came along and helped her up. What I'm trying to say is this we use fall down for things which seem like kind of temporary or accidental. You don't usually fall down from a disease or some kind of medical issue, like you would use the Japanese verb taoriru. In those cases, we would use a different, more suitable verb or phrasal verb. Which ones? Let's learn some more. So, what would be some suitable alternatives? I'm going to give you four options. The first one is Collapse. This is used when a person suddenly feels really bad and they just fall on the floor. My father collapsed on the living room floor and wouldn't wake up. The second option is have a fall. So, this is often used for older ladies and gentlemen who lose their balance and end up on the floor. My mother had a fall when she was watering the garden. The third option is come down with. This is used for an illness, from something like a simple cold all the way to something more serious like AIDS. She came down with a bad case of pneumonia. By the way, the pronunciation is pneumonia. You don't say the P, pneumonia. Fourthly, I'd like to suggest the verb faint. This is when for some reason, A person just has a blackout. They lose consciousness for a short time. It sometimes happens when you are anemic, have low blood sugar, or have heat stroke. A young lady fainted on the station platform. Some people rushed to help her. Let's take a look at five example sentences using fall down. And the other options which I talked about. The first one is this My son came down with chickenpox last year and was covered in little red spots. So we're using the phrasal verb 
come down with. Chickenpox is the name of the disease that a lot of people get in their childhood. Billy fell down in PE today. He has a graze on his knee, but apart from that, he's fine. He fell down means it wasn't such a serious thing. He just grazed his knee. Have you ever fainted? Just once. I think it was from lack of sleep. So a lack of something means there isn't enough. We need more of something. So you can have a lack of sleep or maybe a lack of money or a lack of time. My mum had a bad fall last winter on a slippery step. So instead of using fall down, we used fall as a noun to have a bad fall. Slippery can be used for when something is easy to slip on. The pop star just collapsed as soon as he got off the stage. Collapse is being used here as it is sudden and without any warning, and we don't know what happened. If you want to improve your English even more, click right here. This is a set of three videos about how to describe a person's personality. It's very useful and I'm sure there are a lot of new words and expressions in there for you. I'll see you over there. Let's go.